Hi, welcome. Thank you for joining me. My name is Stacey. This is your 45 minute body sculpt class. I have two lightweights and two have moderate to heavy weights. Um, if you don't have weights, all good. You can do everything that we're doing with body weight exercise only. And, or you can use some water bottles, soup cans, um, whatever you've got, all good. All right, let's get started. Today, we are gonna go with the magic number 10. That means we're gonna do 10 ex or 10 sets, 10 reps of our exercises, right, left, front, back, however you choose, once we get started. We'll start off with some big, beautiful shoulder circles. Oh, let's loosen up our shoulders. Release that tension from our neck. Maybe open and close your mouth, help release it through the jaw as well. And a big glorious smile. We're gonna smile throughout the entire class or exercise our smiling muscles. <laughs> I'm gonna call them our smiling muscles. And let's switch direction with those shoulder circles. Plus when we smile, it does help us feel good. And will help us enjoy our workout just a little bit more, just a little bit more. We're gonna enjoy it anyways. All right, so let's start off with some hamstring curls. Kick back, warm up the back of your legs, while at the same time opening up the front of your legs. You can swing your arms out, warm up your shoulders, or take a reach and pull. Now we're gonna change up to a knee in as we warm up through our hips. Right there. Now we're going to, if you're able to, kick big windmill arms and reach for your toes. So I'm blessed with short legs, so this is very easy for me. And also hamstring stretches, which great. Which I actually started getting more flexibility when I started doing yoga. So check out some of the yoga classes on here as well. I'll help out. And there we go, switch it out. And we're gonna take a squat down. Squat, calf raise, reach up. Come down, calf raise, reach up. We'll do 10. We'll start off with 10. So we warm up. It's not a full squat though. We're still in that warm up, for it. Warm up phase. <laughs> How many times can my tongue get all twisted up during a, while I'm talking? There you go, and shake it out, a little pedal pusher out. A little pedal pushers out. Get some movement through your ankles, and here we go. Little ankle circles, and switch directions with those ankle circles. We're gonna start off with our lighter weights. Tongue twisters all around today. <laughs> Let's start off with our lighter weights. We're gonna make a big, glorious W with our hands, or with our arms. Shoulders roll back. We're gonna extend our arms up and make a V. So winner and victory. With that, you're also going to, now let's start with the arms first. Big shoulder rolls, here you go. So we've got that W shape. Winners, we extend up and we're victorious. There's one, two, let's warm up those shoulders. Three, four, hey. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and let's take a little march out and swing it out. Opposite arm and leg. We're gonna take our right leg back with some and then forward with some pendulum lunges. And hold on to the weight. So we'll step back to a lunge. Step forward to lunge. There's one. Here's two. I've got a little hammer curls going on with it. Here's three, four, five, six. Go at your own speed. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Amazing. Let's shake out that left leg. We're going to do the same for the left side. What we do on the right, we got to do on the left. All right, so here we go. Let's step it back and then forward. There's one. Here's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Balance. Eight. 
Nine. Ten. Great job, shake it out. And we're going back to those W's to V's. This time with our V, we're gonna lift up to a calf raise. Let's start to get our ankles, uh, a little strength for our ankles and our calves. So let's find a stance that's comfortable for you first. So that when you come up to your toes and your arms extend up, you're good. All right, knees soft, shoulders back, belly buttons drawn in. W for winners, which makes us victorious. Yes, we are. Here's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good job. Ten. We're going back to our pendulum lunges. We're going to add a little bit of core work with it. We're going to bring our weights together. Whichever leg is in front, that's the side that you're going to bring your weights to. If, you know, if the rotation doesn't work for you, feel free to stay with those bicep curls. So big shoulder roll, let's start off right side back, which means that we rotate to our left hip. So we're gonna take it back. There's one, here's two, three, four, five, six, go at your own speed. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, shake it out. We go for the other side. Let's set it ready. We're going to the right hip first as our left foot steps back. There's one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, oops, nine, I gotta slow it down. <laughs> 10, great, all right, one more time. Winners, victory. This time, we're gonna go for a little bit of core challenge by squeezing our thighs together, squeezing our knees and our heels together. I call these mermaid legs, because when you're mermaids, there's no gap, and that way, you can swim away. <laughs> we are mermaids, or mermen. <laughs> so, here we go. So we squeeze those thighs together, activate those inner thighs. Imagine you gotta go so badly, and you're still on that really long drive on the 401, and there's no en route yet. Squeeze those, well, you're not gonna squeeze your thighs while you're driving, but you're gonna squeeze those muscles at the same time. Squeeze your thighs, squeeze your knees, and, Let's find a little bit more of a challenge. Here we go, so we're gonna come down in that W into a chair pose. Stand up, victorious. Ooh, there, see, there's that challenge. There's one, two, three, <laughs> four, don't rush it. Five, six, seven, eight, Nine, 10, amazing. All right, so we are going back to that pendulum where you can hold your weight side to side, rotate side to side, or a little bit more is to take it down and make an A-frame, full windmill or full wind cho wood choppers. See, tongue twisters all around for me today. So we start off over our left hip as our right foot steps back. Here's one, we'll, we'll A frame, <laughs> wood choppers, there's two. And if you want, pick it up in between. E. Four, my friends were talking about their rebuilt cottage, five. And the A frame. So there we go, that's, why, that's where it's, this is coming up. <laughs> I'm still counting, seven. Find that stability. Two more, nine. <laughs> and 10. That stability is so important because you might be where I am where it's really icy out right now. And you want to find that stability because there's a sudden 
have to have ice that. So that's what that course really is all about. So that's where I'm getting it. That's what we're going for. And maybe you're out on the golf course somewhere else, nice and warm. You want to find that core strength or baby batting cages. Because I guess it's almost, is it almost spring training time? Uh, yeah, so <laughs> core strength, core stability, we're getting that in here too. Let's go for the other side. I'm talking too much, aren't I? What else is new? <laughs> There's one. Two, still counting. <laughs> Three. Sometimes my method's just gonna run a mile a minute. Four. <laughs> Five. Good job. And if picking it up in between doesn't work for you, that's fine. You're still getting that core work by bringing it from hip to hip. Some days, balance is better than others. I say it all the time, and I mean it. And last one here. Good. Great job. All right, so we're gonna switch out our weight. We're going to go for the heavier ones now. Big shoulder roll back. We're gonna start off with our palms forward, and you're gonna have your heels just a little bit wider than hip width apart. Knees are soft. You're gonna hinge from your hips. Pull up to your ribs. Stand tall. Show me your bicep curl. There's one. Deadlift. Reverse grip row. Stand tall. Bicep curl. Three. Four. Five. Six, pull up with your ring finger. Give those lats a little bit extra work. You got it. Here's eight. Keep it strong. And last one here. Amazing. All right, we're gonna set one weight down. We're gonna take your weight into your left hand. We're gonna take a side lunge to our right. Side lunge to our right. Bring it in, you're gonna step back or cross behind with the shoulder press. So your choice, depending on how your knees, how your knees feel, step back lunge or curtsy lunge with that shoulder press. If the stepping in is not comfortable for you, side lunge, come up and right there, all good, all good. And you can also switch back to your light weights, you can combine the two or just follow the movement and really focus on the squeeze from your shoulders, from the back of your shoulders. All right, so here we go, to the right. Here's one. Two. Keep that belly button drawn in. Three. That's it. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good job. Let's switch out to the other side. Big shoulder roll. And let's take it over to the left. To the left side lunge. Take it behind. There's one. Yes, yes. Find that strength, draw your belly button in the entire time, and let's keep our chest proud. Nice and tall. Heart above your belly button. Still counting. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Seven. Heart rate going up. It should. The higher your hands go with your weight, the hard, the higher your heart rate will go. Good, awesome, all right. Grab that second weight, let's reset. This time, we're going to take one foot back and then stand tall. Then you'll do the other side. Still on the count of 10, so it ends up being five each side. Got it, all right, ready? And not, if you don't feel like 
Offsetting your weight side to side. All good to keep your heels a little bit wider than hip distance the entire time. Or bring your legs in together a little bit closer together like we did with that last winner victory arms. Shoulders back, bellies in, in three, two, here we go. Down, row, almost forgot it. Stand tall, curl it in. Squeeze your bum so that you're not shifting your weight from side to side when you go down. Here's three, four. Try to stay center, the upper body stay centered. I know on that weaker side, you might want to shift even more. You can do it. Two more. Yes. Let's do it. Last one here. Good job. All right, set that one weight down. You know what's up? We take those side lunges. Curtsy, if you want, or this time, you're gonna bring it in, balance, and side kick out. So just a little bit more, and especially if you were doing the side lunge with the shoulder press, you can stay there, or side lunge, bring it in, and balance instead of the kick out. All right, in four, three, two, here you go. Side lunge, you can do the curtsy lunge, or a little side kick. There's one, two, three, Yes, four, have that balance, five, six, seven, amazing, eight, nine, one more. Good. Let's go for our other side. In three, two, here we go. Take it to the side. You know your options. This one's my challenge side. Three. Belly button's drawn in. Bum cheek squeeze to help with balance. And find something to stare at. Something that isn't moving. That'll help with your balance as well. That's it. <laughs> Eight. Nine. And 10. Great job. All right. One more time. We are going to try our best to not shift our weight from side to side as we do our tap backs with the rows. That reverse grip row. A few shoulder rolls, a few shoulder shrugs. Get ready. Knee soft. Bum squeeze, belly button's drawn in. Shoulders roll back and down. Let's go. Here we go. Down. Row and tap. Stand tall, curl it. Try not to do a hip thrust as you stand tall with that bicep curl. Keep your bum squeezed the entire time. Good job, team. Yes, I know you can do it. Yeah, I do. Six. This is all you. It's your push. Can you give me a little bit more? Yes, you can. Come on. One more for each side or two more in general. If you're not doing that top back. Last one here. That's it. Yes, yes. All right. Here we go. We take that little abduction, a little bum squeeze, or your curtsy, or just stay in the center or step back lunge. Let's take it out. We go to the right. Two. 
go at your own speed. Start your lawnmower or your snowblower wherever you happen to be watching this or whenever you happen to be watching this. Pull up strong, pull it up strong. That's it. Here's eight. There's nine. And 10. Good. Let's take it over to the other side. Big shoulder rolls. And last time. Here we go to the left. Pull. Start up that lawnmower, snowblower. You'll thank me if it's seizing and, you, and your arm gets tired and you now have to start with your non dominant arm. We get that strength there. Find that evenness. <laughs> Balance. One more. There. Good job. Let's take a few shoulder rolls, shake it out. So I'm doing some standing moves. We're gonna start to take it down to the floor now. So let's set your weights. Keep your weights close by. We're gonna start off actually on our sides. So we'll start off one side down, and you're gonna start off with your lighter weight. We're gonna bring our bottom knee in, and our top leg is gonna be out. You'll lift your hips up, bottom shin is down on the floor for support, and we're gonna take our top arm, top leg. It's gonna lift up at the same time and lower at the same time. So there's one. If your hip isn't happy, shoulders aren't happy, fine here. A little bit less of a side plank, but don't worry, I'll still get something for you. Four, your obliques. There's three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, ooh, that, tip, that top hip. Eight. Nine. Ten. So before we switch over, the side that was going, the side that was going up and down, you're gonna do side crunches, reach towards that heel. So we roll over onto our backs. We're gonna reach to the heel. A side crunch here for one, two, three. Four, you can support, you have your other hand underneath your head if you want. I told you, I promise we'd get our obliques. Nine, 10. All right, let's go for our other side. So we have our bottom leg down and our shin down into the floor. Knee comes in just a little bit to give a little bit extra support. And we come up and again, totally fine to stay right here if you want. Here we go. So. We lift, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. All right, so we're gonna roll back onto our backs. I'm gonna bring my heavier weights close by because I'm gonna move on to that next. And then we'll come back to those side planks again. So we come back onto our backs. We're gonna reach for our other heels. 10 little side crunch pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So your choice for your weights. We've got the heavier, I've got the heavier ones here. I am going to push my hips up. So we find a bridge to strengthen the back of our body. You're gonna lower your hips down, push up, then lower your hips down and roll up and push up. So we've got a bridge chest with our chest press and then a sit up with our shoulder press. So here we go. We go one, a little bridge, hip thrust, roll down and push it up. There's one, 
push your hips up with your weight. There's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And it's back forward again. <laughs> Eight. Breathe through it. Nine. And one more. Ten. Good job. All right. Big shoulder roll. Once again, we're going to those side planks. We set up. Top arm, top leg lift at the same time. Let's go for 10. There's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Find that strength in your core. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one here. Amaze falls. We come down. <laughs> there it is. My, one of my words that I say a lot but don't realize it until it comes out of my mouth. I'm trying not to say too much. <laughs> here we go. Side crunches in three, two, here we go for 10. Squeeze your rib towards your hips. Squeeze it in. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Go for the other side. We set it up and we lift. And here we go, side, side lift, lower down. Find that strength, two, Good job. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And back onto our backs. Take that side crunch in three, two, here we go, crunch it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You know what's up? It's gonna be that chest press with your bridge. Scoot yourself forward if you need to a little bit. If you're like me that somehow manages to inchworm my way back. So we come down, push your hips up with your weight, hips lower, roll up, and push up to the sky. There's one. Two, three. If you want, you can also hook your toes in underneath the couch. If your feet are trying to flail to help you roll up into that sit up. It's all good if that is. It just means that our hips are doing a lot more of the work than our abs are doing. Or if you're like me, that's kicking one, your legs out to get that roll up. Just those tight hips that want to do a lot more work than our abs, but that's fine. Adjust for what works for you. And with those bridges, the closer your heels are towards your bum, the more your, your heels will, or the more your bum will work, I should say. Especially as you drive those heels into the floor. Two more, two more. Let's go with that. Last one. Good job. Set those weights down. Roll it over, take a little cat and cow. All right, so this time on our side, I'm gonna change it up a little bit, just a little bit, and that's the angle of our top foot. So before, I never really specified how our top leg is gonna be. This time, you're gonna point your toe down to the floor so that when you lift, you 
you're gonna kick it up and back a little bit more. Just a little more. A little bit more fun. It's a little bit more fun for those glutes. Yes. All right, so one more time. If your arms are tired from that full side raise, you're welcome to take it as an upright row. Press up to the ceiling and back down. All right, last time we do this, because everything we've been doing three times today. Here we go, we come up to that side, turn your toe to the floor, hips stacked over top of each other, and three, two, one. So we open up, back down, there's one, two, three, four, five, you can do it, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, you know what's up, we come onto our back, and three, two, and side crunch, go. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. All right. Same thing. We switch it around. Our top leg, our toe points down to the floor, and you're going to kick up and slightly back. This is my side where my hips have a little bit less mobility, so it's going to look very fun. And maybe this is your side where that hip has a little bit less mobility as well, so it's going to feel extra fun. It's only 10, and that's why we're only doing it once. Here we go. In three, two, we're in it together. There's one. Two. Three. Strong glute medius, that's what's happening. Five. Six. Seven. <laughs> eight. Nine, ten, great, and we roll it over onto our backs. We get that side crunch in three, two, and here we go. Side crunch one more time. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Chest press with your bridge. You can do it. No changes in this one. No changes at all. Yeah, I want you to be, to find your own success. Bridge, roll it down, roll up. Ooh. Two. The beauty of holding onto the weights as well and keeping them close in as we come up is that you're not using your arms to help you flail up. Just giving you a little bit more of a core challenge. Five. Six. Come on. Seven. Three through it. You can do it. Eight. Yeah. Ooh. Nine. The last one. Good job. All right, last exercise or last body part that I haven't really focused on is our triceps. Triceps. Triceps with a bird dog. So we're going to take tricep kickbacks. Your opposite leg is going to go out and you're going to tap down side to side. So 10 kickbacks and with each kickback is a tap. So there's a kickback, and then you're gonna tap over, kick back to the other side. If this wrist doesn't like it, bring it down to your forearm right there. I'm gonna turn around. So here we go. So you can bring it to your forearm. All good, belly button's drawn in. And you're going to do big rainbow arches as you're imagining you're tapping the water to see how cold it is. You're at the beach. Right there, you're tapping it to see how cold it is, and you're gonna get that kickback. So here's one kickback, and there's two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we bring it in. We're going to switch over to the other side. So I'm doing this round on my forearms, just as the example for if the wrists are tired or your wrists aren't happy with putting that pressure on. So it means with those taps, your kickbacks aren't that fast. There's one. There's two. Big rainbow arch. Tap the water. Light tap. Four. Five. Keep your elbow tucked in. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Remember, you're tapping the water just to see how cold it is. You don't want to put a big splash in. Splash yourself and then be completely shocked. Cat and cow. So if you want, in tabletop. All good if you're comfortable with that. We set up, we get that row in, and we extend out. There's one. Two, keep your body still. Three, light tap. Four. Five, if you want, get a little rotation with your palm. Up to the sky for that kickback. Nine. Stability is <laughs> happening on its own today. Not wanting to happen on its own today. We have a lot of concentration. And here we go. We take it back. There's one. Crossover. Big rainbow arch. Light tap. So much to think about. And find a spot on your mat to stare at the entire time. That way. We won't rock it too much as we work on our core stability at the same time. And good. Let's turn our fingertips towards our knees. Take a little cat and cow here. One more time. Your choice. Again, forearms down or hands down. Last time for those triceps. Last time for those little rainbow arches. In four, three, two, and let's go. Here's one, two, three, four, five. Get that tricep squeeze. Squeeze your bum at the same time. And amazing. Switch it out. Finish it off in three, two, Hey! I love that the camp band was with me and the music. Four. And last set here. Five. And two. That's ten. And good job. Let's take some big shoulder circles. And since we finished off with our triceps and our hips, Let's get the triceps in our hips. Let's take our right foot up to the side. Feel your right heel. Feel your right foot down to the floor. Right heel aligned with your left knee. Left knee underneath your hip. A little stretch forward. Give yourself a pat on the back. And gentle tricep stretch. Then we're going to bring our right ear towards our right heel. And you're opening up your triceps. Lats your shoulders, your hips left side of your body as much as is comfortable for you. Good, and let's bring our right leg in. A little push, push your hip forward, and look over your right shoulder. All right, let's switch it out. Let's take that left foot out to the side. Seal your left foot into the floor, left heel in line with your right knee. Push your hip forward and give yourself a pat on the back for an amazing job. Amazeball. Amazing job. You are wonderful, and I am so happy that you chose to join in and be here with me. Let's get that beautiful side bend as much as you're able to. Some days it's going to be easier than others. And no worries if it doesn't want to happen, and no worries if you can go further than me. This is your stretch. You go to where it works for you. 
We bring it in. Bring our foot forward. Big shoulder roll, a little twist. Look over your shoulder. And then we come in and let's come all the way up into standing. Take some big hip circles and switch hips, switch direction. We're gonna take one leg, cross it behind. Take a deep breath in. Press your palms up to sky. And, oh, how do I not go? Wave it side to side like your palm trees that's sitting in front of this glorious ocean. Ocean? Yeah, we'll go with the ocean. And wave out. Oh, see? Palm trees are by, well, both, I think. <laughs> Feel free to correct me when you see me. Take a bow. I know they're by the ocean. And take a deep breath in. Switch out to the other side. All right, we're palm trees again, or whatever trees happen to be by the water. And sway out side to side so we get that little side flexion. Oh, that feels nice. It really does. Hopefully it feels nice for you too. If it doesn't, don't do it. Don't ease off from it if your back isn't happy with that. We take a breath in and we bow. We bow to each other. And because we're on the podium of excellence and we are winners and victorious, big kisses to our fans. And my heart goes out to you. Thank you so much for joining in today. I hope you have the most wonderful rest of your day. And I look forward to seeing you again very soon. My heart's yours. So much love. Have a great rest of your day.